Hey guys, welcome back, and this is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and this is the final part of my SCCM 2007 and OSD, which OSD stands for for Operating System Deployment, and it's part six of my series, which is Pixie Boot Deployment Tested. It's time to test it, guys. It's time to Pixie Boot and see if everything works out. Now, uh, within a virtual machine environment, I had a couple of complications, which I want to tell you guys before I even start doing it because you know a lot of these things that we do it's not magic you know uh, we always get errors and receive errors and we have to troubleshoot it I don't want to troubleshoot it fix it and then show you guys that it's up and running and then you guys try it and it's not working so there's a couple of things that I got problems with when I try to pixie boot on a virtual machine environment you probably get this on a regular network environment I received a pixie E53, which a boot file name received. Okay. Now the way I fixed it, I went into my DACP server, which I want to show you guys. Uh, let me just uh, minimize this and go inside my domain controller. And I went inside my server options on my DACP. I added a boot file name, a 67 boot file name, standard vendor, and I added uh, SMN SMS boot x86 uh, wds mbp.com string value you, uh, you could do 86 or 64 bit but again I was testing only 86 bit so it's up to you guys okay so that clear that problem now the second issue that I had was the pixie e3b error which is the tftp error file was not found now Believe it or not, when you pixie boot a machine, there is a tent folder that's created within your SCCM 2007, I believe also in 2012 uh, server, that creates a temporary file and drops all the pixie boot files. I had to delete that stuff. Uh, once I deleted that, I was able to pixie boot my uh, virtual machine server again, and uh, it was good to go. So I'm going to minimize this. And... As you can see, also there's another thing that I have problems with. My WDS was completely shut down even though if I went to services and I had it set up to automatic, it was still not running. So make sure that your WDS, your Windows Deployment Service Server services is running, okay? Because sometimes it stopped and you would think if you reboot the server it will restart trust me I tried to reboot my virtual machine it wasn't starting off so I actually had to go inside the services console and start it up manually which is weird okay uh, the other thing is the Windows 10 pixie boot file I'm actually gonna delete this because again I was testing it out earlier and you know I don't want to have any problems so what I'm gonna do right now guys is I'm going to go to my start computer my D drive VMs make sure this is empty because that's where I'm going to drop my test at and I'm going to create a new virtual machine for you guys I don't want to install anything as a Windows 8 good I'm going to call it BJ tests and I'm going to browse into that location right here next uh, I'm going to just give it 40 I don't really need too big configure it and I'm going to start now because I'm doing this on a virtual machine environment it should automatically pixie boot to it alright guys so once you get to the pixie boot most likely you're going to do the F12 and once you do the F12 Windows is going to be loading its files that's a great thing you're going to have your IP address of your SCCM as well as the boot image uh, location so this is the boot image that it picked and let me see if I can put this a little bigger for you guys. Now, there's two options with this, guys. And you can advertise your task sequence to a con collection like we did in the previous episodes. And uh, you can advertise it regularly or you can advertise it mandatory. Now, if you do it mandatory, most likely you're going to get a dialog box indicating uh, that your machine's going to be... Uh, re-image by such and such task sequence in a certain amount of time press OK or cancel now if you don't do it as soon as possible it's gonna give you the option it's gonna give you a dialog box to pick which task sequence you want which is always a good thing okay now there's been problems with the issue of 
when it gets to the point of preparing the network your machine will automatically reboot and won't continue now if it doesn't get to this portion right here and it stops up to the part that saying preparing network and it reboots your machine you most likely need to get the NIC drivers and put them inside your boot image now I haven't done an episode on that yet uh, most likely in the future I will do that for you guys but for this I'm just want to show you the last part how everything works with the pixie so you can get a nice little dialog box uh, welcoming you to the task sequence wizard which is good password is disabled because again I didn't put a password to you know run the task sequence you hit next and I only have one task sequence being advertised to that collection of unknown computers so I'm gonna hit next and once I, I think once I hit next, that's about it, guys. It's going to start re-imaging it, reformatting it, partitioning it, do whatever it needs to do, and install Windows 8 on the machine. I am not going to record all this stuff for you guys because it's a pretty long process. Also, make sure when you're doing the, your task sequence that you pick the formatting hard drive to a quick format. Uh, I've had in the past that I forgot to do that and it takes forever to format the hard drive and it just makes the process of uh, deploying your image to a machine a little longer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode which is the last part of this series. Most